Hey guys, it's Nicole, and I have a really quick haul for you today. Okay, I'm going to just get started. Um, I got this from Cassie, who is Paper Issues. Um, she had a 20% off or 30% off, I can't remember, um, off in her store. And the stamp set was $8 plus, I believe, 20% off. So, um... This is the only thing I ordered from her. I just wanted this because I really like these speech bubbles. And of course, when I open the package, I accidentally cut off the top. And that irritates me to no end that I did that. Um, and then as a free gift, she gave me these Days of the Week um, Jelly Bean Soup stickers or sticker labels. Then um, I've had stuff in my cart at MFT for a while and I finally just purchased it. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. Well, here, let me start with the, the three stamp sets and dies that I wanted. Um, this is a really old set. It's called At the Movies. And I just love it. And I have um, quite a few stamps that have a movie theme. Like, I have the Pure Innocence Girl. And I have some papers and stuff. So I've been really wanting this one. And it comes with the dies. And just a, let me remove the dies so I could show you all the cute little sentiments. But this is a really cute set. It just, it was rather pricey, so, I mean, even though now looking at it, I see that it's way big. Um, but that's why I've been holding off on it. I love this little, like, movie reel. You could probably, yeah, I have actually a good idea of what I want to do with this. So maybe I'll make a card for my little card series I've been doing. And then it says, like, you're a star, you thrill me, you had me at hello, true love stories never end, every ending is just a new beginning, I really love you, happy birthday. Yeah, it's got all kinds of cute stuff. And I have their ticket set, too, um, that's the ticket, or get the ticket, and so that'll match really well with this. So I got that set, and then I got two of their newer ones that I had been wanting, um, I got this one. It's called Baby Onesie and Stamp Set. So let me just take out the onesie so I can show you. The onesie is really cute, and I have to make a card. I'm going on October, I forget if it's 4th or 6th, um, to a little baby shower. So I'm going to make a card with this. Um, this onesie is how big? Let me tell you. Almost 3 inches um, tall. And then it comes with this cute little stamp set. I love this little monster, but I'm going to a little girl, so I probably won't be using that. But it says, Baby, Roar, Princess, Prince, Angel, Baby Boy, Welcome Baby, um, Blank is Born, like you, and you could put a girl is born or a little boy is born, Girls Rock, Boys Rock, this Little Crown, Mommy's, Daddy's, Grandpa's, Cute Little, yeah. Really cute stamp set. I really wanted that one. They have a t-shirt one too, but um, I like the dye, but I'm not really a big fan of the sentiments. And then the last one that I had wanted is called Airplane Greetings, and I'm just going to take out the dye so I can show it to you. Um, the dye looks like this, and it makes a little airplane. And the airplane itself is fairly big. It's four inches long and about an inch high. Um... And I saw some really cute cards made with this. Um, and then on the little banner that it carries, this one, you could put these little sentiments. Born to fly, new arrival, it's a girl, hello love, just married, save the date, sending smiles, love is in the air. So happy for you, come home soon. Oh, I love this little prom one. <laughs> cute. So, yeah, so those are the ones I wanted. And then... Um, the free stamp set was a coffee-themed one, so how perfect is that for me? Because I love coffee. It says, you are the cream of my coffee. Wake up and smell the coffee. Life is too short for bad coffee. A morning without coffee is like sleep. <laughs> sleep is a symptom of caffeine deprivation. Coffee lover. Yeah, I'm, I might have to make myself a little sign with this. Um, and then they had some stuff on clearance, and... I've always wanted to try their cardstock. I've never tried it before, and this, I, I think that this color might be going away, um, and it's called Steel Gray, but I really like it because, okay, so I use paper tray ink. Let me just show you, though. So, and then I use 
and they're, this is their black, I mean their gray, and it's like a really dark, almost black. And then this one, let me just show you. I use gray a lot because it's like one of my favorite colors. Hold on, let me just, sorry, I know I'm making a lot of noise. Okay, so this is theirs, um, their color, and then this is Paper Tray ink. And if you can tell, this one's more of like a gray, and this one's more of like a black. So this was $6 for, I don't know how many sheets, it doesn't say. It just says replenishments. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure how many sheets. It looks like about 50 or 60, I would think. So it'll last me a good long time, but um, I couldn't help but get it because I tend to use Bright a lot. So that is all I got from MFT. And then the last little haul I'm going to show you is um, I went to Tuesday morning today before grocery shopping because it's right next door because I actually just went because I wanted to get these bags. Um, I used to actually get these at my local craft store and I would pay like I think two or three bucks and they were only 99 cents. So um, I got the ones to fit normal A2 size cards because I go through those a lot. And then I got these to package my um, five and a half by five and a half cards. That's the reason I went, um, but I found some other stuff there. They had a ton of stamp sets, but um, I'm really trying not to just buy for the sake of buying because something's $2. I'm only buying ones that I actually think I will put to use. Um, so out of all the stamp sets that they had there, I only got two sets. I got this one from Stampology that you've probably seen in everyone's video. Um, and the only reason I got it, I didn't intend on getting it because I have the MFT um, license plate die and stamp set. But it's about like from here to here. It's much smaller. And when I saw how large this was, I just thought of a lot of possibilities. And for $2, I just couldn't help it. And I'm actually not a big fan of this font, but I have the other license one, so I can, and I'll, hold on, let me go grab that so I can show you what I mean. Let's see, okay. So I have this one where I can't really show you, I'll have to grab the license die, but here are the, um, alphas, and they are, like, way more sturdy. This is clearly not, um, photopolymer. But I actually just wanted it for this. And I will show you the die that goes with the one from Dynamics. Hold on one second because I have to dig through my little die book here. Where are you? Where are you, die? So sorry, guys. I wasn't really planning on showing this. So, Oh my gosh, where is it? Okay, here it is. So, look at the size of this right here. This is a different die compared to that. So that is why I decided to get this because I can see, this is good for like cards, but this one's bigger for other projects. So I had a few ideas in mind and decided to just get it and then I can mix and match my better quality photopolymer one with that $2 one. Um, okay, so moving on, um, the only other stamp set that I got, um, was this one because I actually, a friend of mine asked me to help make, um, something for her son's daycare teacher, and I don't really have a lot of school stamps because, you know, I don't, my children aren't in school yet, so I just thought this was good. It was two dollars, and I really like this ABC. I love this stack of books right here. Um, the pencil, the crayon, um, and definitely this one, two, three, and the little school bus. So I got that so that I can make her card. Um, and then I got another pack of these. I had already bought these, and they come in the one, three, five, and eight, and I also got Cherry a pack. And I use these like crazy, and I always feel like they're going to like dry out, and then I'm never going to find them again. So when I saw them there, I bought another pack, and I'm not going to open this pack. I'm just going to leave this um, unopened, and then when mine start drying out, I'm going to use this as replacements. And this was $3.99. So that's pretty good, because these are normally $10. And then they had, oops, pigment ink from American Crafts there in the leaf color. 
and I love this color for fall, so I really, really wanted it. And the pad looked nice and juicy. It didn't look like it was dried out at all. Um, but I just think this is a great green for um, fall. And it was $1.99. And then the last thing I got that I could not pass up was for $4. They had these Craft Tonics Studios Serrated Edge Scissors that are very, very much like my... Tim Holtz ones that I don't know. Oh, here they are. Hold on. So here are my Tim Holtz ones, and I love them. They work great. I use them for certain things. But it has, like, the same size grip, but look how much bigger and wider the blade is. And they're just smooth. I like them. And these are usually $10.50, according to this, and they were $3.99. So I had to get them, because I find that getting good scissors is hard to find, or you end up paying like a ton of money. So that is my haul for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.